What is going on, everybody? This is the really is back with a brand new YouTube review, and today's review is going to be focused on the movie American Skin. American Skin basically talks about how a man by the name of Lincoln is going to get his own justice after the American legal system does not give him and Tanya the justice that they wanted after their son was killed by a police officer unarmed with his phone in his hands. And the movie itself, in my opinion, was pretty good. It's one of those type of movies that you have to see for yourself to give itself a review. Because I remember when this movie was first released, while it was being shown to like different like independent circuits, I saw that many people was basically degrading this review, like degrading this movie, giving it all types of like negative reviews and it doesn't deserve all those negative reviews at all so no more talking here's the review so the movie immediately begins where lincoln and his son kanjani gets pulled over by two police officers while driving in the wrong neighborhood at the wrong time at night around midnight and everything goes smooth at first until his son Kajani decides to film the police because always filming the police is very is important to do because there's two sides to every story and long story short it just goes horribly wrong as in all like the ruckus happens it ends with Kajani being killed. It doesn't show it but it is heavily implied that it happens because a year later a director goes to Nate Lincoln's place and they're talking about his son Kajani and how good of a kid he was and while showing him different videos and also filming a video of himself about Lincoln, his son, and just everyone that knew Kajani and everything while also waiting to hopefully get the justice that Lincoln and his baby mother Tanya needs with having the police officer Mike being charged. And what we see is flashbacks of just Lincoln and his son Kajani just talking and everything about different things. And then in one instance, Kajani is talking about having rights and everything when it comes to being pulled over by the police and all that kind of stuff. And Lincoln tries to explain to him about how those rules were written, but it wasn't basically for like black people and it's just different moments of Lincoln and Kajani's life before the incident takes place and then it's time for the verdict that comes back in to see whether or not officer Mike will be charged for Kajani's death and of course it doesn't happen it never, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen that often in real life where a police officer will be charged by, will be charged for killing somebody that was unarmed or they didn't show no type of threat. Didn't happen in this movie as Officer Mike is cleared and he won't be facing no type of charges of Kajani's death. Tanya, Lincoln are definitely understandable, upset angry with the legal system basically not caring and everything because this happens in real life and i don't have nothing else to say about it, it sucks but it sucks so then a few days later goes by tanya gets interviewed by a police detective not police detective but like the lieutenant of the police in their city and Tanya's family is there, and one of them is recording on his phone, you know, all this from the police, and it doesn't go nowhere. It basically falls on deaf ears as the person is not trying to hear what the police has to say because they killed his friend, his family, and he won't be, he'll never be able to see his son and his family again. Then we see Lincoln talking to a friend by the name of Omar Ghost, talking about just different things 
and linking the sign that he wants to get his own justice for his son after the American legal, legal system was not it for him. Then we see the same police officer that was talking to Tanya getting kidnapped by Lincoln and his friends and his associates and they go back to the police station and all hell breaks loose. I'll just say that with Lincoln and his friends having machine guns, you know, Second Amendment rights, right to bear arms. And they decide, Lincoln decides to have his own trial to basically get the killer convicted, Officer Mike. And there is tension, there is a lot of tension in this police room as one side is police officers and the other side is just Lincoln and his associates. And how to do, and how to do the trial is Lincoln gets his his friends to get like 12 people to have their own jury. Some prisoners, some workers, and some just random people. And the tension is really up there as some police officers are trying to like somewhat justify the killing and basically saying that it's Nate's fault, the reason that his son is dead and how black people are still upset about slavery and how they need to get over it. Just the same type of stuff you would hear someone say, speak about in real life. And it was really not surprising at all to me. Like, whenever I hear about somebody, another person, a color black person gets killed by the police officer or just get killed in general for no reason at all, nothing surprises me because I've seen so much, I've heard so much about it, like nothing surprises me no more because why should it? Nothing's gonna change. Like, there will always be problems in my opinion. Like there will always be that tension between blacks, whites, Latinos, Mexicans, Asians. There will always be some type of tension between one another and it's sad. And the officer, He's showing some type of sympathy for doing it. And the reason why that he was Lincoln and his son was pulled over was because of suspected of speeding. And Lincoln constantly asks him, what was the speed? You know, what was the speed? And the officer was like, I don't remember. They just estimated it and everything. And also they was in a type of neighborhood that they'd seen that they didn't belong in with the car they was driving and everything. And it was just all bad and all sad in my opinion. And the jury, they go back to the jury room trying to talk about whether or not the cops should be found guilty. And of course you have some people trying to, not justify it, but trying to make it seem like the cop has a hard job already for what it is. And both gave out good points as to why what should happen should happen. Some time goes on and the jury comes back and Officer Mike is found guilty. And it seems as if Lincoln is about to put Officer Mike out of his misery. But before he does that, he allows Officer Mike to call his wife and his son, basically telling them goodbye and everything because of what's about to happen and how he made a mistake. And it seems as if Officer Mike is about to go to another dimension, but when Lincoln pulls the trigger, no bullets. Because as he said himself, he got what he wanted. And the sad thing is, is that it's not going to bring his son back. He just wanted justice and he got his justice. And this happens all within like a day. And during that police officer SWAT, they was all like coming to any like different areas. And officer and Lincoln decides to let everyone go with his crew as well and the people that was filming. And just as it seemed as if they're all about to just get arrested, things like that, Lincoln dies. He gets killed instantly by somebody as he is shot in the head. And then what we see in the news segment as time goes on, as they're trying to depiction. Lincoln as some type of like psychopath, as someone that had a history of mental illness. Like, he even tried to say that he was a part of some terrorist organization. Like, that is just ridiculous. And they always say that, like, 
that does happen in real life too so the movie ends with the director having a copy of what transpired and he seals he seals it up and i think he ships it off to somebody i'm not for sure and that's the end of this movie overall i thought the movie was really good in my opinion and it does like a good job of like depicting like real life situations incidents as they showed a riot happening for Kajani, just like what happened with many people that was killed by the police unarmed like you saw what happened with george floyd and everything like stuff like that and then whenever somebody dies a black person or whatever they always try to make it seem like the black person was some type of like messed up individual like try to break up like their record or, or everything like it doesn't happen always because sometimes a person is really innocent but it do be happening which i think is just really stupid in my opinion like no one deserves to get killed in that kind of way like no one does now you do have some people in the world that is just real sick in the head and is on a mission to wreak havoc and those are the type of people that that deserves whatever happens to them I don't have not much else to say about the movie. It was good in my opinion. If I were to rate it out of 10, I would probably give it like a 7 out of 10. And that is it. Until next time, later.